welcome um, today I want to show you the expression one pedal um, there are not much videos uh, around uh, that pedal and how to use it with the Fender amp and I was um, thinking about to show you the configuration of the pedal and also um, yeah some sounds that are available for that device if you have already a um, Fender pedal like the MGT4, you clamp it just in between with the cable. So here is then the uh, output. It is also saying to MG4. And here is the input or output to that goes straight to the Fender M. And then you um, actually set it up when switching up the amp you see a red light indicates one mode modus of the pedal if you go to the top you see then a green light that indicate the other uh, mode i put that here on top that you see um uh, the actual settings so when I just go to the def default amp here or any default amp so you see I don't have any effect set up then uh, this pedal is has two modes so a green one what is the volume mode and an effect mode so I go to the volume mode that is something you um, can't get with the uh, headphone uh, with the with the output I use from the amp. It just controlling this master volume here. So you hear that over my microphone. I I hold now on. The, you hear that over the microphone. I hold on the amp. So because I muted that in my room now, um, usually you won't hear it over the line out. But um, what is more interesting for all the settings, because the volume works for every amp, uh, uh, is and it only goes to the the maximum is then the master you set here with that knob. Uh, this one. So it goes until it is basically doing this movement here when you uh, push the pedal. The other settings I entered with the red button so uh, now I'm in the effects mode. For the deluxe you might see that I have no effects um, in that uh, amp model. So when I go to the over the menu to the expression uh, pedal setup to the preset settings you see I have uh, I have no effect there I have only the deluxe so the, the amp model is called deluxe what I can uh, adjust so here with that uh, dial I choose the parameter I want to set uh, later you will see some more because we have more effects in the chain but here we have only the deluxe amp model you see on the bottom for that um, um, for that amp I choose to have the volume mode what is the green one active so I also can deactivate that one when I am uh, controlling the amp um, I have the express mode what is the red set to amp fx and on the third uh, parameter I can say what value I, uh, I like to control with the pedal huh? so we have the gain uh, we have the volume again we have treble middle bass cabinet effect what is for each amp model a bit different what are the specifications what we can adjust um, the noise gate gate position power supply tube bias so that is just an example for that 
I, I start just with the gain here. Uh, for each um, um, setting, because when I press save, it will be saved to the um, <coughs> to the modeling amp. I can also set the heel and toe position uh, and some other details. Live mode, what I am not 100% sure at the moment what that is. A reverse, I think it is then. The opposite from toe to wheel. So let's uh, jump into it. So we basically in the with the red uh, modus, we set it now to amp and to gain. And if I go to the deluxe amp again, you see that my gain volume is changing uh, when I. Uh, use the pedal yeah? and uh, to play a bit I record it here on a device I call it Viat it is called Viatap so I can loop it uh, in the input and talk through it so I hope the loud this is not too much for that uh, guitar I'm playing back. So when I uh, move here the uh, gain uh, um, to the heel, what is here, that, uh, and a bit further to the toe, you see my gain, um, my gain is uh, fading in. What's interesting is when you click save, I, I would usually save the amp with GTX 50, what is uh, obvious, yeah. but uh, when I move the pedal, of course I adjusted the settings again, so gain this uh, particular value here. And it asked me again to save it because I changed it, but uh, that is the behavior of the uh, pedal itself, so I don't want to change every time the amp, but whatever. That's why it is uh, with each movement I do uh, turning into red. So when I use that amp as a, um, I go the gain a bit down, when I use that amp as a um, showcase yeah I can also adjust here um, effects yeah so I have one effect I can adjust before the amp and one past the amp so let's do one before you see all the effects that are available in the um, GTX 50 so stomp box modulation delay reverb dynamics filters and pitch so and each of those um, groups has different subcategories uh, uh, in it okay I just um, showcasing it when I play it back so I stop uh, I stop the playback so um, let's go to uh, what is it here green box for instance. So the expression pedal can uh, can modify each of those effects. So now it's lighting green. So that means I can decide now in which uh, uh, order I want to put it. So in the post FX mode or in the pre FX mode. When you have multiple effects in a chain, I can. Uh, exactly uh, adjust the position. So I go now as a pre effects. Of course, I have here the parameters level, gain, tone, and blend that are available for the green box um, distortion. Um, but uh, of course, no more uh, adjustments I would be able to do with the pedal, of course. Huh? When I go to the pedal uh, here, to the foot switch, preset settings, I'm still 
adjusting the amp with the gain as shown before but now I have here the option to select the green box and with that button here I can go to the menu see I'm in the amp fx mode and I'm adjusting the level of the green box effect again I can change different parameters that are available in the green box effect so gain for instance tone blend that was the ones we uh, saw before no? I choose here now blend just as an example uh, and here heel toe that are the default settings that every um, adjustment has so I don't care about that at the moment um, back to menu I'm in my amp uh, my modeling amp with the green box effect and here on the bottom I see what we now um, um, change we change here the blend what is the the dial at the end that one with the pedal so and I uh, chosen blend because uh, then I can adjust for instance the intensity of the distortion with the level knob uh, here and with the gain knob as I uh, would usually do it and blend uh, just is used to fade in the distortion or not uh. so again I, I go to the uh, very beginning yeah, when no blend is made in uh, and um, use the playback here now I fade in the distortion and fade it out so I use this now as a distortion pedal basically and the same procedure I can do for every effect so I can keep it in the chain of course let's keep it in the chain but I uh, can also replace it of course in the, um, as a second example I put here a delay you already hear it in the that it um, yeah you mean it is one expression pedal but uh, as it uh, is connected with the GTX 15 amp it can use all of those uh, groups and all uh, effects in the um, in the amp basically a delay is of course the good one reverb uh, it's often used for for Vava huh? uh, we can use here the uh, let's do where that pedal wah some are called pedal wah but I assume also the other ones can be uh, modified and the mono, uh, the, uh, mono delay is set to level zero at the moment what is fine because we want to concentrate more on the bava pedal 
So I go again to foot switch to preset settings. So effects mode, pedal, uh, a mix type I can select. So I choose here the pedal. Here you see the first, the first knob is turning and so that is often the use case of Wawa pedal, just regular. Now I show you how we can replace it with something else. Just click to replace. Let's go to um, the envelope filter, what is also a very nice effect. Of course, that is now not connected here. You see um, that nothing is changing in the effect mode. Again, I go to foot switch expression global settings choose the envelope filter and it's set to a level for instance but I also can go to uh, threshold or I think threshold might be good see it more when I put the level up so level is then not adjusted by the pedal huh? and can I can also choose other settings here independent from the uh, pedal but only the threshold is now controlled with the pedal board some effects you hear it more clear what we are doing low pass high down so so again replace and we choose another one the principle is every every time the same and uh, the overview is um, basically there are so much effects in the system that it really is a playful um, device uh, to vibrate tone ah that sounds cool would be cool to for instance adjust that vibrate tone with the foot. So level, it's already okay set up. Um, rotor, maybe that is the speed of the, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, you see the second, um, the second option is changing. is interesting for you um, that is the expression one uh, pedal uh, and there were not much uh, videos out there uh, on YouTube about this device 
and uh, maybe uh, that's uh, helpful um, for you to um, decide um, about that. Thanks very much. See you. Bye.